Good day viewers and thank you most sincerely for tuning into Polymer Update TV, the world's first TV network with a free petrochemicals news show. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Bradley Thompson. It is Tuesday, October 31st. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices fell on Monday as prospects of a possible disruption in oil supplies from the conflict-ridden Middle East abetted considerably. Brent crude prices fell by $3.03 settling at $87.45 per barrel while WTI futures decreased by $3.23 settling at $82.31 per barrel. On Monday, open spec naphtha prices fell by $9 per metric ton at $651 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Styrene monomer prices gained on account of bullish buying sentiments in Asia on Monday. On Monday, FOB Korea SM prices were assessed at the $1,075 to $1,085 per metric ton levels, a rise of $20 per metric ton from Friday. CFR China SM prices on Monday were assessed at the $1,060 to $1,070 per metric ton levels, a gain of $20 per metric ton from Friday's assessed levels. Ethylene and propylene prices quoted flat in Asia on Monday. Ethylene and propylene prices decreased in Europe on Monday. Ethylene prices fell while propylene prices were assessed stable in the United States on Monday. Back to our news. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today. On October 31, 2023, LLDPE prices are down by RMB 3 per metric ton at RMB 8166 per metric ton. PP prices are stable at RMB 7615 per metric ton. PVC prices are lower by RMB 4 per metric ton at RMB 6091 per metric ton. MEG prices are up by RMB 4 per metric ton at RMB 4158 per metric ton. In plant news, Sinopec Guangzhou Petrochemical has halted operations at its cracker recently for a maintenance turnaround. Further details on the duration of the shutdown could not be ascertained. Located in Guangzhou, Guangdong Province of China, the cracker has an ethylene production capacity of 260,000 per metric ton year and propylene production capacity of 150,000 per metric ton year. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me, Bradley Thompson from Polymer Update Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.